Ladies and gentlemen, here we have Steve Watson. You may have heard of him. He's on some little show called Monster House, which I had never seen, but now he's got a bunch of other reality TV shows. But anyway, this is not a reality TV show. This is just pure reality. We're at a bank branch. We broke a frog that could be of some sort of gift to the branch manager, presumably from her daughter or even worse, her passed away daughter. Um, we're trying to super glue it. We'll be nice and write her a note as well. Unless it looks too good. <laughs> then we might not even write her a note at all. So the most important thing to remember whenever you're replacing someone's precious <laughs> ceramic frog after you've uh, seen that it has fallen off of the desk and is uh, into several pieces is to first assess the damage and to see what the extent is yeah, going to be. If it's even repairable. Yeah, if it's re repairable or if you even need to own up to the fact that you yeah. are privy to it being broken. Yeah. So now what I've done is I've gone to the Dollar Tree and I've gotten myself some super glue. And now since this frog is in four pieces, two sizable pieces and a couple smaller pieces, yeah. it might oh, be feasible I that I could actually fix this rather quickly, get this back on the desk, set it on the edge, make it where she might knock it off, and then she <laughs> might feel like she broke the ceramic frog herself. Yeah. Um, but what I would like to do, if we don't decide to go that direction, which could be a little bit shady, is mm -hmm. I think I would like to repair the frog to the best of my ability and then be honorable and be honorable about it and just mm -hmm. let her know that you know in a in, a, in an un oh <laughs> in an what? unfortunate set of circumstances your frog was knocked off of your desk yeah onto yeah. the floor where it subsequently broke into four different pieces and i although i am not a ceramic frog doctor by any stretch am trying to perform some emergency yes. surgery on the frog yeah. to see if we can get it back into working. Yeah, there's a there's a TV show that my daughter watches uh, avidly called Doc McStuffins, and all she does is repair stuffed animals that have been injured. It's a oh. cartoon and uh, ceramic things. So if we had Doc McStuffins on hand, Bree, this would not be an issue. Unfortunately, Doc McStuffins. <laughs> Is not available She's, at West Covina. She now. was she was somewhere else, so we had to go with uh, the Travel Channel Steve Watson yes. to repair this. And so this takes a fair amount of finesse, which is not something uh, I'm known for. No. But I still believe that we can pull this off. Yeah. Fuck. Um. It's unfortunate when things like this happen. It's actually kind of sad, you know. Yeah. This, this is an unfortunate accident, and we're just going to do our best to, you know, bring the frog back. So now I've got two more pieces to put on uh, the bottom part of the mouth. I'll keep this here, probably yeah. taped yeah, that... for the rest of the night, and then uh, we'll leave her a note explaining that the yeah. frog, you know, uh, was collateral damage. Yeah, this isn't this in, isn't... at a construction site. Yeah, it's it's real construction. It's not it's fake. It's real construction. This is not this is not the fake construction <laughs> that you've seen me do for over the years. So now we're just going to hold this for a minute longer. I can't believe I have this much video footage left on this memory card. And this is then... three three minutes of gold. You might find this on YouTube. Do I have before I put it on YouTube? Do I have your permission to put this on YouTube? Sure. Okay. I promise I will not make a dime off of it. So now, Fuck, what should, what should I title it? Steve Watson fixes a frog? Steve Watson repairs ceramic frog, maybe. Maybe you can, since you'll be on it, you maybe get... If this goes viral and I become famous as a cameraman with a fucking really unsteady hand... <laughs> That's pretty awesome as I just glued the bottom of the lip to my finger. <laughs> you know what? Let me get another angle of this frog. So as you can see... I have glued my fingers together. Oh, yeah, that's not good. And left part of my flesh on the frog. lip of the frog. And I've glued the frog <laughs> to the paper. paper. Oh, well, okay, it came off. Okay. okay, so let's get a nice bit of glue on there. Now, the key at this point is to make sure that I put the right side of the lip on the right side of the lip. Right, yeah, exactly. takes a steady hand yes. so ideally that'll stay right there and then we'll put the other half of the lip on oh, damn it fuck. the 
this frog. I mean, that's that's going to be a, it's really going to be a tough piece. If this were if this were ICU, the, the bells would be going off right. Yeah, now. yeah. The bells would be going off. This frog is a. Uh, I'm afraid it's 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 not cooperating. Yeah, that we would have to call in a preacher or pastor. Right? Yeah, like I'm thinking about giving this frog its last rites right now, but I, I don't know that I would do any good for it. As well, a, even if we can glue the big piece, it might be salvageable just with a jacked up grill. Yeah, I mean, you know, that that'd be kind of gangster. Yeah. That's a gangster. I mean, frog. we could we could put her, you know, yeah, exactly. Just so that everyone knows we're safe, we have security on site. So, he's watching over us while we fix this frog just so there's no funny business going on. No monkey business while we're fixing a frog. Oh, that looks pretty. Do you have both pieces set in? Both pieces are in, but I can't get the one on the right to really get in there right. Oh. Yeah, see, there is the seam right there. However, can you just kind of like she's never gonna notice. put some... She's going to notice. <laughs> yeah, she's definitely going to notice, but, you know, I mean, it's seamed, but... It, you got a yellow marker? It seems in pretty good shape. Okay, so... That's just the best I could do wow. with, with that that frog emergency repair job. Yeah, um, I mean, how do you think this will stack up to your uh, your other adventures that you're going to be going on uh, when your show kicks off I, I next month? I feel like, month? you know, compared to all the other stuff that I've been able to do in front of the camera, I feel like uh, this might actually, if this is ever seen by anyone, this might actually trigger the absolute end to my career. Yeah, well, I guarantee you'll have a good, stiff 60 views at least. Because <laughs> my YouTube channel gets about that every video I post. Nice. So, and then if people say, oh, that's Steve Watson from Monster House and... And what other show were you on? Uh, Monster House. Uh, I want to say Don't Sweat It. From, don't uh, Sweat It, yeah. HGTV, my new uh, show for the Travel Channel. It'll be coming out later on in the spring. Here, let's be sure to put that over there. Look, he's even, you know, putting the finishing touches on how this lady's desk's wa desk was assembled prior to Frog. Frogapalooza, Frog of Snafu 2013. Yeah, because I have a feeling that this is not going to turn out well. You know what? Honestly, it looks pretty good. All all jokes aside, no, no, we don't need to color it. Maybe we do. Yeah, no, no, because then you're trying to you're like you're modifying its no, original look. No, making it look good. Okay. Let's see if it'll okay. even work. Huh. Yeah, I just covered up the seam a little bit. I just couldn't get that. I couldn't get that straight. Well. Okay. Yeah. Ooh. That that's a good looking frog. I mean, and you know, super glue will harden, right? Yeah. You almost hit it, Mario. You almost hit it in the face. Dear Millie. Okay. Yes. Free Millie. I'm sorry. Unfortunately. I killed your frog that you did to other me. No. We don't know if, in fact, her daughter passed Unfortunately, away. Unfortunately, in the events. Of last evening, your frog had an accident. Accident. I would have said suffer, suffered a casualty of construction, but but that sounds a little too yeah too harsh, and it's uh -oh. blaming. Um. Although I. Am not a certified. My handwriting is atrocious. Yeah, that's fine. A certified ceramic frog doctor. I did the best you could perform an emergency. Procedure. Oh. The more I look at that thing, it doesn't look bad at all. And he is again in one piece. Oh, that's good. P.S. He did not grow. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Yeah, that's Dude, fine. Oh, shit. Especially with a bunch of shit in there. Um, yeah, well. Let's see. I apologize for any pain he may have endured. I would even go as far as to say I'm True. sorry for any pain and suffering and sorrow you might be feeling at this moment. But I think she she's a strong woman. I think she can handle that. Yeah. Unfortunately, in the events of last evening, your frog had an accident. Accident. Period. Although I am not a certified ceramic frog doctor, I did perform an emergency procedure, and he is again in one piece. I apologize for any pain he may have endured. Um, okay. That seems that's good. That's good. There go. Hopefully she sees the humor in that. Uh, I think I'm so. Thinking. No, and she she totally will. Yeah, hopefully All she right. sees the humor in that. Doesn't think I'm just being a smart ass. Okay, over and out. Sign okay. off. Thanks. So